New to the Catholic Church 101, what's up with the colors? The colors are meant to be an experiential way to communicate what's happening during the liturgical year. That there's this process of, of Jesus' birth through his death, resurrection, and ascension into heaven. And so we begin with purple. Purple happens in Advent and Lent. And purple's always been kind of a royal, expensive color. That here comes the newborn king of kings in Advent. And then in Lent, here's the king of the Jews suffering for us out of love. And so purple's kind of taken on a little bit of a penitential feeling, but it's really about royalty. Then we look at white. White is a color of glory. It's the color of the resurrection. And so when we celebrate saints' days or Christmas and Easter resurrection time, like the, the glory and light of heaven is what that vestment is supposed to mean to us. Green is a color, you know, things that are green are growing. Now, we don't get to see that happen very quickly. A lot of growth happens slowly. And ordinary time covers most of the year. And a lot of our growth in the spiritual life, it happens slowly. In the day-to-day -day of nurturing and taking care of our relationship with God, that's how we grow. And lastly, you've got red. Red is the color of the Holy Spirit. It's also the color of Pentecost, but also the color of passion, of, of blood being poured out. So Good Friday, when Christ poured his blood out, but also for the martyrs, the saints who've gone before us and who've, who've shared in that ultimate gift of their lives, like Christ did, we wear red.